China is preparing for war. Or is it? There's been a massive buildup of military forces and high-level purges of top generals. But today I'll peel back the curtain and look at what's really going on in the Chinese Communist Party. Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. So on YouTube you may have noticed a trend. Thumbnails like this, announcing China's imminent collapse in 29 days. Actually make that 25 days. No, 7 days. Actually, zero days, the CCP has fallen. Ah, if only. Nowadays, you'll see a lot of people saying war with China is imminent. And in some ways, that argument makes sense. Chinese leader Xi Jinping is in a crisis like he's never faced before. Even worse than the communist power struggles with former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin. And there are signs China's economy is headed into a recession. A fifth of China's economy relies on exports, and they fall into a record low. The real estate market, a third of China's GDP, is also collapsing. And youth unemployment numbers are so bad, the government just stopped reporting them. And tens of trillions of dollars of debt plague local governments. And Xi Jinping will be getting all the blame, both from the Chinese people and rivals in the Chinese Communist Party. That's because he's amassed more personal power than any Chinese Communist leader since Mao. So. Why not start a war? Wars are great distractions from a country's problems. Rev up some nationalism, maybe retake Taiwan. What's there to lose? Now this is an actual argument a lot of very smart people are making. Here's the gist. We know China is in the midst of the biggest military buildup since World War II. China's navy is now bigger than America's. And they're building more ships faster than America too. Meanwhile, Chinese patrols are going further afield. There's even been unprecedented joint military drills with Russia in Japan's backyard. Not to mention the ever-increasing, constant harassment of Taiwan. By 2027, China wants to have a modern military on par with the United States. From an early age, Chinese youths are subjected to intense ideological brainwashing, trained to love the party and be willing to fight and die for it. So it sounds like China has got the manpower for a war. Xi Jinping is also looking closely at the failures of Putin in Ukraine, in particular the impact of sanctions. And China is preparing. China itself has been trying to sanction-proof its economy, and it has been decoupling from the United States. You know, in case there happens to be a war. China is also hoarding food, grain, even stockpiles of gold. You don't have to go far to find people saying that's a sign of war preparations. And perhaps the biggest sign is that Xi Jinping himself is telling the military to prepare for war. Then there are the mysterious disappearances and suicides in China's military. In recent months, these top six commanders of China's elite rocket force have either disappeared, been put under investigation, or allegedly killed themselves. And that's a big deal. The People's Liberation Army rocket force is responsible for almost all of China's nuclear arsenal. By the way, China wants to triple its nuclear arsenal by 2035. Granted, that would still make it a fraction of the U.S. nuclear stockpile, but consider this. If Xi Jinping threatens to use nuclear weapons to take Taiwan, would the U.S. risk a nuclear strike on Los Angeles, Washington, or New York to defend Taiwan? That's a question Xi Jinping is probably asking himself. So, why the purges? Well, what some people are arguing is that these commanders were reluctant to invade Taiwan. And Xi is purging any opposition to his plans, installing people loyal to him and willing to pull the trigger when he asks for it. So does that mean war is imminent? Actually, the exact opposite. I'll tell you why after this quick commercial break. Welcome back. So let me tell you why Xi Jinping is absolutely not preparing for war. Yes, Xi Jinping has been telling the military to prepare for war. He's also said the exact same thing pretty much every year. This article is from 2015. Now there absolutely is a huge buildup of military forces, and Xi Jinping has threatened to use force to take Taiwan. The Chinese Communist Party is absolutely a threat, one we should take seriously, including its military. But right now is not the time Xi Jinping wants a war. Yes, the party is stockpiling food. But that's not to prepare for war, that's because China's running out of food. 
there is a real risk of famine, especially after recent flooding devastated China's breadbasket. China is facing unprecedented challenges, and Xi Jinping's position is in danger. But he's not going to further destabilize the country by going to war. Xi is handling things the way he always does, with propaganda and purges. On the propaganda front, Xi has been building a personality cult around himself. It's especially targeting young people since they're the ones most angry with him in the Communist Party right now. According to the China Project, the party is resorting to the tried and true tactic of patriotic education as a way to reinstall faith and loyalty and salvage the future of the party's popularity. And that's what's really behind the kindergarten military training. It's more about trying to ingrain love of the party than turning them into an actually effective combat force. Because remember, a well-trained and well-armed population would be the biggest threat in the world to China's unelected communist officials. There's a reason Chinese people aren't allowed to own guns, and why the party spends more on its surveillance state and police than its military. The party has always considered the Chinese people its biggest threat. Unfortunately for Xi, the propaganda is getting less and less effective as China's economy sputters towards recession. But here's the biggest reason Xi doesn't want a war right now. It has to do with the purges. Xi is not purging officials who are telling him they don't want to invade Taiwan. According to China risk consultancy Sino Insider, the commanders and officials who were purged were considered loyal to Xi. This means that disloyalty and corruption are unlikely to be major factors that led to their sidelining. So why did Xi purge them? Because his rivals have backed him into a corner. Sino Insider says Xi Jinping could have moved against members of his own camp following complaints that their actions had threatened national security. Because the Xi leadership has long prioritized national security above all, Xi would have no choice but to take the allegations seriously and open probes into his own associates. Xi's position is getting weaker, not stronger. Starting a war would not shore up the country behind him. He would be enabling a coup against himself. To launch a war, Xi will have to give a general or admiral control of all or most of the People's Liberation Army. That officer will immediately become the most powerful person in China, as he or she will then have the means to take over China itself. A war right now would be the end of Xi. It's actually very similar to something that happened in ancient Rome. Rome had a terrible time controlling England. Holding it required a massive military garrison. And whoever was in control of that force also had the power to attack Rome and become emperor. There were several failed coups that started like that before Rome decided holding England just wasn't worth it. She knows he needs military strength, but he also knows that strength could easily be used against him. The walls are closing in on Xi, and he may not have many options left. Not to mention, Taiwan is doing a lot of things to make invasion impossible. I'll show you how in just a second, but first, I gotta show some love to the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. Fans who make this show possible by supporting us on patreon.com slash China Uncensored. Just a dollar an episode is all it takes, and you can ask me whatever question you want. Today's question comes from Kyle P. Hey Chris, when Russia invaded Ukraine, the supply chain was disrupted in ways I never imagined. Can you imagine how much the supply chain would be disrupted if China invaded Taiwan? You know, that's a great question, and it ties into the same arguments about China invading Taiwan that this episode was about. Taiwan makes some of the most advanced semiconductors in the world. The entire modern world depends on Taiwanese semiconductors. China needs those, especially as the U.S. continues to cut off China's access. So a lot of people say China will invade Taiwan so they can take over the semiconductor factories. But taking over those factories is not like taking over territory. These are highly sensitive, fine-tuned technological wonders. A semiconductor factory literally costs like $20 billion to build plus all the state-of-the-art equipment needed to actually produce the chips and the know-how to do it. All that would happen in a Chinese invasion is that these factories would be destroyed and they couldn't be rebuilt. China invading Taiwan does not mean China gets chips. It means no one gets chips. And that would be devastating to the entire world. It would not be easy for any country, even the U.S., 
to build the kind of factories and get the expertise needed to restart the industry. We might be microchipped back to the Stone Age. So if anything, this is just another reason why Xi Jinping is not immediately going to invade Taiwan. Thanks for your question and your support, Kyle. Click on that orange button to support China Uncensored on Patreon, and click on this video from my other channel, Gamers Unbeaten, about how Taiwan is taking a page from the Civilization Games to create a strategy for beating China. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.